in the last episode. So, good morning from Bavaria. The person in front of us is driving without lights. train tracks of Schengen yeah and that this is a village that is uh, between three countries and here they decided that they would not check passports or documents uh, inside of the EU countries and then they expanded it to other countries that wanted to take part in that program and we're not in the EU, like Switzerland, or Norway and other countries in the EU, like Croatia and Romania um, they are inside the EU, but did not sign the Schengen Agreement so they do controls of your passports, ID cards and all that Right And there you have the Luxembourg side of Schengen and where we are here is the German side yeah. so this train station is actually German and uh, not Luxembourgish Luxembourg welcome to Luxembourg Who would have thought that in this small village in Luxembourg something of such critical importance and significance in the current Europe would take place? Without the Schengen Agreement, our trips would have been much more difficult or even impossible. Luxembourgish is a very interesting language. They speak it here in Luxembourg and uh, in some parts near the border with Luxembourg but mostly here and uh, it's a language of the Germanic family but with many French features as you can see here uh, it sounds very interesting Schengen du war 1958 am 1990 op engem Schiff day to a Schengen aufkommen einer sichern so uh, yeah it sounds super cool uh, Gofa is like the passive form, like where, like the, the, the uh, what is it called, like uh, the agreements were signed here, yeah, and uh, yeah, not everyone in Luxembourg speaks Luxembourgish, no. um, but it's a protected language that people have to learn at school, also here in the village of Schengen they also have cat houses on the street and they give them fresh food they take care of the cats here in Schengen they are very considerate so let's check out the church from the front oh sorry this is the back
Schengen itself is not very touristic. It is a small wine-making village in the Moselle River. Even after merging with two villages, it only has a population of 4,000 inhabitants. The village has a castle, a church, some shops, and a visitor center. So, we are at the European Museum of Schengen. Uh, they have some monuments here, some statues. This is the Mosul River. It also goes through Germany and France. That over there is the European Museum. And uh, yeah, they have some hashtag here, Schengen is alive, to symbolize that in the EU and uh, in the countries where Schengen, uh, the Schengen law is applied, <laughs> Schengen law is applied uh, we have free transit for people so you can go from one country to another and you will not be checked or you sh might not be checked I mean not all countries keep that nowadays uh, with the situation in Ukraine yeah. and the information center is inside of a ship it's also symbolic because um, they decided, I mean, they did the uh, Schengen Agreement with, with the uh, countries of the CEE in 1985 on a ship. So we say goodbye from Schengen, the village that changed Europe forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> So we just arrived to the station of... So you can't believe our luck in these countries. Well, the first impression is not very good. <laughs> just ahead of us we were going to experience the death of a pedestrian or an accident, I don't know. And here there's an ambulance from Ukraine. Yeah, very strange vibe.